right next to the yarrow is uh, peppergrass. And this here is peppergrass. You can see it's uh, basically a long stalk with these seed pods at the end here. And uh, this is a member of the mustard family and can be used pretty much any way the mustard family, anything in the mustard family can be used for. Um, it makes, uh, you know, for your mustard plasters, um, the mustard plaster is basically you grind this up with a little bit of vinegar, put it between two pieces of cloth, uh, cotton cloth, and stick it up against the skin for a short period of time to cause an irritant. You can also use it as a, um, and, and that sometimes can help open up a chest uh, cold or for opening up chest colds, things like that, anything that a mustard plaster can be used. Um, the other thing it is, is like its name suggests, it tastes like pepper. And you can just strip these little uh, seed pods off. Well, okay, I stripped, they're easier to do if it's a little drier, but anyway, strip those little seed pods off and uh, dry them and keep them in a pepper grinder and you can use it just like pepper. Uh, it has just the same flavor as pepper, and it's a it's a weed that grows pretty um, pretty prevalent around here. It's, and there's another weed in here, which is pineapple weed right here. But I'm going to show you that uh, oh, right there, pineapple weed right there. But I'm going to show you that uh, bigger bunch of it over on the other side. Yet another estrogen replacer here is red clover. Makes great tea. Um, uh, hops, of course, have a much stronger estrogen replacement, but red clover does have estrogen in it. It's good for, uh, obviously, women's problems, and it's also um, good for calming, you know, if, if you have an upset stomach or an ups you know, a headache from just being so tense that this can be used, and you just pick the flowers, dry them, put them in a dark place. I put them in a jar, actually, but you can put them in a paper bag after they're completely dry and uh, store them in a dark place, label them and everything, and just make a tea out of them. Okay, growing up through the cracks in the, um, in the, this is an old cattle, uh, place where cattle were raised, and uh, growing up through the cracks in the concrete is, this is um, pineapple weed. And pineapple weed is, uh, is, is a medicinal. The reason most people don't use pineapple weed as a medicinal is because it doesn't store. The only thing pineapple weed um, is, I mean, you use it right now. You pluck it out and use it as needed. You can make a tea out of it. It, it, it has a wonderful, the reason it gets its name is from its smell. It smells like, it has a very citrusy smell, and that's what it's most mostly used for. usually blooms all summer, um, or it's usually out all summer. So you can use it uh, for that, that uh, citrus smell is very similar to citronella and you can use it as a bug repellent and that's that's what I use. I crush it up and rub it all over me. The essential oils basically help keep the bugs out, especially in the area that it's growing. So the bugs here, you know, in this area don't like it and uh, and um, that's what I use it for. But it can be used pretty much anything that chamomile can use, be used for. Um, the calming tea uh, um, helps with stomach upset. And then, of course, crush it up and rub it on yourself as, as a bug repellent. Um, but uh, one thing you can't do with it is take it and store it in any way. It doesn't store well in alcohol. It doesn't store well in fats. It doesn't store well in water. Well, it does. Store, it doesn't store in water. It does. It does. Um, you can use it as a tea. Um, so it does come out in water, but it certainly, um, it's medicinal qualities do, but it doesn't store water. So, uh, anyway, that's, uh, that is pineapple weed. And it's small. These are actually taller than most. These ones are about six inches tall, but it's a small, small little weed that comes up. Great for keeping the bugs at bay. It's got that citronella smell, and I tell you, you could smell worse. If you're out tramping around, you come back, you can actually rub it all over yourself and you smell better too. Much less keeping the bugs away. So, pineapple weed. Okay, this is more coming up through this uh, concrete here. Um, this here, well this is wild lettuce here, which is, was a wild edible at this stage. It's getting a little tough, but that that's uh, one of the wild edibles there. It kind of looks like dandelion leaves if you see. They're very, very much toothed and they have a, a kind of a spiny back and if you break it it should have a milky sap and that's uh, 
So that's a wild lettuce. And again, it's past the stage of really good eating. You probably could take these top fresh leaves that are just coming out and you still eat those. Um, but that's a cousin of the lettuce that you grow at home. And it's one of the ancestors anyway. But what we're really looking at here is this tiny little plant. I'm actually going to pluck it here. Um, and that is Shepherd's Purse. And it is also a member of the mustard family, though a milder member of the mustard family. I got some right here as well. Um, and uh, it's called Shepherd's Purse because the little seed pods, those little heart-shaped seed pods, kind of reminded people of the purses that the shepherds used to uh, attach to their belts. Anyway, and uh, the, what, this is a limited use herb. It does, um, the longer it's out, the more peppery it gets. So y you can eat it. You can eat the leaves. They have a basil leaf. Um, and these, the leaves are about gone on this. But when they're very young, you can eat them in salads. They have that peppery taste that is known to the uh, mustard family. But um, it's, it's one of the, I call them the small stipics or the small blood stoppers. Um, uh, this can be dried and ground up and used to um, stop bleeding. Uh, what it's mostly known for is like if you're cutting your dog's toenails and you cut them a little short and you get the quick, uh, you can use this powdered up, stick it on the dog's, um, stick the dog's toenails into the powder. It'll stop the bleeding um, on the dog's toenail and uh, kind of deaden the pain a little bit too from making a mistake, but you can use it the same way for you if you get a if you get a little cut or something like that um, and you see some of this around you can use this. There are of course better things like plantain or or yarrow, but uh, this works for stopping the bleeding and like I said it kind of deadens the pain a little bit too, but that's shepherd's purse and it's known for growing in sunny places and you can dry it, you can make a tea out of it, and like I said, you can use it for some of the same things that the our other mustards are used for, but it's not as strong of a medicinal as most other mustards. What it's mostly known for is um, drying, uh, ble stopping bleeding. It's one of the small, small plants that do that. There's actually a lot of plants that do it, and this is one of them.